Yes. It's on you. Back and forth. Yeah, it's moving back and forth. Yep. All right. How you doing? I'm Bill Burr, and this is Mike Spienberg, and we are here on March. 14th. March 15th. 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 March Sorry, 15th Sunday. on a Sunday night. I uh, I flew in to do one last night here. I got to tell you, dude, this is one of maybe three or four comedy clubs that I would actually do this for. I uh, started working here like 10 years ago. I started here in 1997. 97? Yes, it was the Good first time I ever did stand up here. I came on a Tuesday night and signed the list for the uh, for the. Open, open mic, mic. Yep. and uh, didn't get picked. I got picked the week later, and then uh, started doing stand-up here. That's awesome. And, got, and I peed in the trash can in the green room because I didn't know any better. Because I believed that after what my didn't, open, didn't know any better. Uh, because it was what? packed in here. As, the as bathroom was being? way the fuck over there, right? And it's packed in here. And I've never, I've never Dude, even been on stage. How before. fucking backwards are you? I that, came that, here. That, I came here. Like and I made the list. Option. I made the list. I made the list, right? And I got paranoid. And then I went across the way. I was 24 years old. And I went across the way. And that's, I did, that's I did old Jager enough bombs. to know. Right. But I came back here. And the guy said, "I'm going on stage, and I'm getting ready to bring you on. I'm getting ready to start the open mic." And I thought, "Oh, he's going to do material, and there's got to be a bathroom around here." But there's not, so he goes out on the stage, and I just I couldn't get all the way over the fuck over there, so I peed in the trash can, and somebody saw me, but I didn't know that, so I went on stage and ate it, and came out here and was sitting back there in the back. If you and, killed, and you would have been Yeah, that's what I thought in my head. I like, it doesn't matter if I piss in the trash can, because after this open mic set, this is my they're going to realize <laughs> that <laughs> you know, I'm going to get a sitcom, and they're not going to fucking care about me peeing in the trash can, because it's going to be the Mike Spielberg show. As soon as I walk That's the two ways about, people come into this business. Right. Either absolutely I terrified or over the top up. arrogant. Oh, I thought it did, I could have shit my pants in there. I could have shit in the green room. And I was going to come out and change the world. Uh, well, dude, I got to tell you, I'm glad that you stuck with it, even though you had the problem there. Because <laughs> when I first came down, the first time I, I worked here, like the first three or four times I would come through, I always worked with you. Yes. And We did San Jose together, too, at the Improv. That's right, we did. we did. We did that together. We did. What year was that? They're all running together, man. I can't even wow, keep that it together. Wow, that had to be... That creepy-ass theater, right? That it's big like Charlie beautiful. Chaplin place. Yeah, and it's fucking like... Yeah, yeah we did that San together. San Jose is a really I think we did Zanies in Nashville downtown. maybe together. The Zanies in Nashville maybe once. Yep. And then here a couple times. I, I, I would say at least, at least, at least four times. Dude, at least four times I came down. Yes. And, like the first three or four times I did this... Uh, you, 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 uh, I worked with you, and then there was one time where you were on the road. Dude, we did everything. We went to a Georgia Bulldog right, game. We went to the Bulldog game, and we set up in the, we set up in the, pre and Jamie got us up yeah. in the thing, and we looked down. Jamie, what year was that we went to that Bulldog game? So the It was the year the Patriots got busted for filming people, because I remember I ran into that Georgia Bulldog former quarterback, and he was like, dude, we used to do that shit all the time. Yeah. That was your buddy, was the friend, the guy that played football that was hanging yeah, out. Yeah, hooked us up. Between the hedges. I'm going to say the reason why I came back to this, uh, this club is this is like, seriously, man, there's a few comedy clubs out there that have the mojo. And for me, this is one of them where you just, you just became funnier when you got on stage here. I don't know what it is about this place. It looks like, everybody always jokes, it looks like an old pirate ship or whatever, but um, it just had that vibe. And then, Mike, we were joking. Jamie, you remember me bringing this up a long time ago? They have, they have the greatest collection of comics who never made it headshots on the punchline wall. I mean, it is just littered. There's a guy Dude, with you're a not turban. Gonna get, you're not going to get There's rid of it. There's a guy with a turban. Taking all that. There's a guy with a turban. Guy with a turban. I was saying, and it's all their first headshots, so they have that excited, I'm going to make it, I can't believe I'm in show business. Yeah. And I told you one time, right? Put a couple of, put a couple of hitters in there. Yeah, put, put, put somebody up yeah. there that made it. Somebody who fucking wrote a movie, got a sitcom, was even on for half a second. I mean, dude, look at that. Look at that wall over there. Oh, there's one. Uh, there's one, there's the, one uh, person the up there that I see. Who's that in the drawing? Who's who that? Is that in the, dra in the drawing? Rich Little. Huh? That's Rich Little. Rich oh, that's Rich Little? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I knew that. Rich oh, okay. Little. But that's a I drawing. That. that is a drawing oh, of a comedian that made it. But every oh, photo really? over there. Yes. Dude, look at that. Look at that second row. Look at the second thought. row. Look at that. Look at that fucking just. We should Facebook them. Jonah no, I, I used to do that. I used to do that when, <laughs> when do smartphones it duty, came out. I've been working Cheaters? Oh, so I long. I Facebook those people. I fucking would, would. I Googled somebody from fucking yeah. up on the internet. I'm always praying that they did, did something. 
Yeah, they have a current IMDb page. Yeah, because I used to come here and I would probably fill to about like maybe that long table right there. And the, you guys. It was the, um, uh, the Bill Burr tells Philly the truth that fucking got you over that hump that put you to where. Opie and Anthony and that. And, the, uh, and that's but even when you that, even, doing the three but even, shows. Even Opie and Anthony and the half hour special. It took until, uh, because that, Opie and Anthony and the half hour special got me to coast. Right. But, dude, the South was brutal. The South took me for fucking ever because I was clearly this well, northern. I was here when the guy had his feet on the stage that night. You were talking about it in the first show when the guy had oh, his feet on the stage. Oh, you were there the, for that? Remember that guy? I was that here guy? that night when the guy had his feet Fucking guy. The, uh, penny loafers and no socks was just sitting here, right here, right fucking there, sitting there, crossed his legs. He's just got his stupid feet. Right? Is I never had to work for anything in my life, pudgy fucking ankles just sitting there. And I told him, hey man, get your feet off the stage or whatever. And he's, he's going, oh really, but blah, 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 blah. And he took them off and eventually he puts them back on and the two of us got into it. And he was such an arrogant fuck, they had to bring the bouncer over for him to leave. And I remember when he got up to leave, he sort of took like a step towards me and I was saying on the first show, I wanted to take the mic stand and hit him so hard in the chest like he shot back and, I, I, and his feet came right out of his loafers. I think his feet were too fat. I don't think it ever would have happened. But, uh, I have that fantasy. If I get bored with my own shit on stage and I'm just talking and I'm looking at somebody, I'll start thinking about weird shit like that. Like, what if I just fucking just kick this chick right in her skull, right? Like, well, how would that change this entire show? Some like, fucked how would, up comic how would the, Even, how even I don't think shit like that. Change <laughs> if I just poked her right in her fucking eyeballs right now while I was talking to her about this random stuff. Well, Jimmy, I want to thank you for building me in, the, in this market, too, because, no, come on, man, when I came down here, I, I would... I mean, there'd be like 30 people in the crowd and 20 of them were on your mailing list. Yeah, well, I did, we went out to do some pre-night show one time in Athens. I remember that. that. I remember that. Point. And I think that was in 2005. I think that was Yeah, 10 years. it's like 10 years ago. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. On, a, on the Thursday night, didn't do the show here, did the show out there, and uh, rode out and back. And that was a shit show. It did not, there was a oh, few people. Yeah. There was a few people that, yeah. not even, I didn't even have a podcast. Really. I had nothing. But it was, yeah, it was just a. Uh, Who did we see them play that time? Oh I man, remember I, uh, that. Uh, I want to say it was like a New Mexico State or something. No, wait, I can I can remember. Ah, oh, fuck it. But the challenge was, it had to be it had to be a home game. It had to be um, a game that was against an opponent that wouldn't get flexed late in the day. That's right. So it had to be a noontime kick. Because that happened to me in that happened to me in Austin, Texas. I was going to go to the afternoon Texas Missouri game and then do my show at Cap City yeah. that night. It fucking turns out Missouri goes like 5-0, and yeah. Texas is 5-0, and it moves to 8 o'clock, yeah. I miss the game and no one comes to my show, yeah. except for like these nerds who were into like Green Lantern and shit. Um, but anyways, dude. Nah, I appreciate it. Continued success. Yeah, yeah. You crush it every time. I hope you... It's a pleasure to watch. You'll yeah. never be able to get a room like but if you can, the closest you can come. Dude, yeah, it's like one of those things you, like... Dude. Like the fucking, the laughs are in the walls, man. Yeah, it's nice. Well, it's marinating in here. Much. It's the marinating in here. Get back here. a stripped building. Well, just make sure they're left. Did like you guys build level. all of this shit? Don't put us way above them. Oh, it was a country western bar. Oh, it was a country western bar. And it literally closed one night, and then we, so that's, that's the That's fucking hilarious, store. too, because... When you guys got this, was right around when Urban Cowboy it was over. Was a, it was yeah, over. It, was, it came and went it one summer, and this everyone was, who was a accountant was, took off their cowboy hat and their boots. The thing fucking went under, and you yeah. made a comedy club. Palomino yeah. Club. That's where my mom would go in Charlotte our, to the Palomino our, Club. And her and my dad got divorced. Palomino. Uh, it was in that same era of the John Travolta. Yeah. Palomino. Urban yeah, Palomino. Disco died, replaced by Urban Cowboy. Mm -hmm. My favorite line in Urban Cowboy was when Deb, it's Deborah Winger, right? Deborah she comes up to John Travolta and she goes, I liked you better with the beard. And he goes, but who asked you? <laughs> fucking takes a sip of his beer. I remember being a little kid going, yeah, yeah, yeah fuck you, bitch. That <laughs> was terrible, but that's how I processed it. It did, no, but that's the kind of swag you needed to have. Yeah. Not like there was ever a Deborah Winger walking up to me, but I just love that he said that. Yeah. Well, who asked you? I always thought it's John Travolta shaving. That dimple's got to be a bitch. Like, he's got he's got to do some sort of, like... Press it. 
press it. I wanted one of those when I was a kid. It seemed like the all chin the chin nipple, the Joe Namath, yeah. the Joe yeah. Namath. The, yeah, no, the, the dimple Namath. chin. Yeah. The butthole chin. Yeah, no, the dimple, not the butthole, the fucking dimple. dimple. I thought that that was uh, that meant you were good looking, and uh, once I started shaving, I realized how lucky I was. That's not an easy thing to shave around <laughs> a butthole in your chin or, or uh, chin cleavage. Watch his face went for it too, huh? Michael Jackson. Yeah, he did add the, the whole. Because everyone was trying to say he was trying to look like Diana Ross, just like she didn't have a she chin like that. No, he did. Yeah, he did look like that. No, they didn't tell you that. He just ended up looking like her. Yeah, females don't generally. She have must have been people. pissed. She must have been like, I don't fucking look like that dude. <laughs> right. <laughs> then she starts changing. He's still chasing her. I think that's fucking great that he's becoming a woman. I think it is. Because what he won was so manly, the decathlon. It's the, it's the, the manliest it is fucking the king of all. That's Olympics. why I love that he's becoming a woman. Right. I think that's that's the cool. That, to me, that's the funniest shit ever. Because uh, just because what he did was so manly, and he was on the Wheaties box, and they got that whole. This is what a man does. Right. His hairy chest and his perfect fucking part. Now he's like wearing nail polish. I think it's great. Yeah, that was kind of a creepy photo with the oh, yeah. I, I hope he fucking just goes like, what, what kind of woman do you think he be, you hope he becomes? Uh, I'm hoping he just becomes, you know those chicks that are just flustered and they can't get their life together? Like, I hope that's, I don't wish that on flustered. him. But it would be, be funny to see a former male decathlete, like flustered, just going like, oh, I just had the worst day, you know? <laughs> He was already wearing like spaghetti straps, if you really think about it, when he was when he was an Olympian. And he always had great it was just flowing, flowing hair. hair. Yeah, before Farah, he had it before you guys Farah. Saw this coming. Flowing hair. Like I bet when he, he saw Charlie's Angels, oh. he was going like, "Come on, Kate Jackson." Kate Jackson, Jackson had his had his hair cut. Right, but that's who I think he becomes as a he looks at Kate Jackson. -ish. All right, then we're gonna, we're gonna we're gonna show our age here. Uh, your favorite Charlie's Angel. What was oh, Kate yeah, Jackson? Fair faucet, man. Dude, Kate Jackson on the Rookies when she was the nurse with that smoky voice. Yeah. Like that one? That is the most like beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The two of you guys, man. Here's the, a little more Bruce Jenner. The sexy, raspy baby that you guys could have would be just oh, incredible. Wow, be perfect. Be wearing a suit with her hair? Forget about it's kind it. Kind of the Angie Harmon thing. <laughs> right? Angie Harmon's got, uh, got that same vibe. Right? I don't know who that is. Married to Jason Seahorn. Play for the Giants, I remember right? Jason Seymour. Yeah, she was on Law and Order for a long time. He Played did the, the underwear Giants. commercials. He was like a modern day Jim Palmer. Uh, I hated, I hated Seymour. I couldn't wait for him to get off the Giants for quite a What? He didn't like I him as a player? He just like, because he had that wonderful mane of hair? He was a terrible player. Showboating. He was a showboating? Yeah, just out there prancing around, yeah, knocking see, a ball down every so once in a while? Yeah. <laughs> the nerve of us. You know what? If you fucking com our combined time in the '40s, it's got to be <laughs> triple digits. Right. <laughs> well, listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get right. on to what I always did after my shows, which is drink up at the bar. I want to thank the Punchline for uh, letting me be part of 10 years of the 33 years that they had here, and uh, I am so fucking sad that it's over here. And I was cool. Thank you for having me down here, no, man. And thanks for, for thank building you. me up in this. Appreciate it. Yes. In this and I love you. You know that. I, it's longer than 10 years. It's been nine years. I love Mike Spienberg. You, yes. I'm, I'm still on the fence with. Yes, so, uh, yeah, you know I love you, and I appreciate you, and I'm, uh, I'm not saying goodbye, because I'm not, I'm not giving up hope. We're going to be at the next place. Yeah, so we'll figure we'll out the next place. place. Why don't you just burn down the new place so you still, you'll have extra parking? Where do the ladders go? I know every comedian asks. Why? Why but the But thanks ladders? for having me, too, man. I appreciate you. Fuck yeah, dude. Weekend, I couldn't bro. do the punchline without Burr Spienberg. That's Ruth Garrick. No, fucking with you. I All share right, a birthday with okay, Lou Garrick. Lou Garrick and I have the we're same wired, birthday. You're wired. June 19th. Lou Gemini. Garrick.